of super inappropriate things for the show. So much of the criticism she received over the years was based around the fact that she'd come up with these dances and outfits that were never appropriate for children to do, and she never listened or backed down. A super controversial instance was when she decided to make the girls do a showgirl themed dance. That means making the girls do a super central dance that was literally meant to appease to men, and even said that she wanted to give the illusion of them being nude. This probably also was when she made one of her most inappropriate comments ever that genuinely shocked me when I heard it. And I wanted to make sure that my girls learned the proper technique because someday one of them is going to be a showgirl. I cannot believe she said that, guys. And it is so crazy that this was aired on TV. And guys, this episode got so much backlash from people. Anyone who defends this belongs in prison because this seriously is not okay. And I'm glad they stopped airing this. There are so many messed up people in this world and this show should not be putting these children in dangerous situations like this. And let me not even mention the way that she made the girls dress for the actual performance they barely had any clothes on. The worst part is that that isn't even the only time Abby has done something like this. And there have been several instances where even the moms had to say no. Like the time that Abby made them dress up in schoolgirl outfits with fishnets. I wish I was joking, you guys. I don't understand how she thought it was appropriate in any way, shape or form. And even the moms called her out for it. Thankfully, she did end up removing the fishnets, but the whole concept was still so uncalled for. But y'all, Abby's strict rules go way beyond commenting on the girl's appearance or performance since she was often found being very racist towards the black girls on the show. Not that there have been many either. From the original cast, Mia was the only black girl and it was very clear that she was being treated very differently. Probably one of the most memorable moments from the entire show was when she singled Nia out in front of all the girls and told her mom to fix her hair because her braids were horrible and weighing her down, which made her mom furious. That And you want you to fix your hair and fix your face and your body and everything else. Everyone? That's fine. When I join your dance company, I'll do Let's it. Let's start critiquing people. Let's start with you. Look in the mirror. According to Nia's mom, she had gotten approval from the studio to get her hair braided, which means Abby was just being difficult and hateful on purpose. Another super sketchy situation concerning Nia was when Abby decided they were going to do a Rosa Parks inspired dance for a competition and then acted like the only black girl in the room wouldn't necessarily get the role. Don't assume anything. I have no idea who will play Rosa Parks. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> I'm just saying. She has to give it her all before I'm even gonna let her know that the part is hers. I'm annoyed. Here is finally a part for Nia and Abby's playing games. The scene has been called out many times with people saying how absolutely unnecessary it was for Abby to act like the role wouldn't go to her when every other kid in there was white and it just felt plain disrespectful. And what's even worse is the fact that Kendall's mom somehow thought that she could get the role for Kendall since it wasn't decided yet. I mean, she literally walked up to Abby and asked her if Kendall could play Rosa Parks. So Abby, what's the status with Rosa Parks? Have you seen the number long enough to figure out who's gonna play? I just started the, the number. I didn't even get the props in the street. Yeah, well, yet. that's why I asked what the status is. What are you thinking about it? I can't believe Jill's lobbying for her daughter to take this part away from Nia. Let me also mention the fact that Abby was also encouraging this for some reason, all because she thought Nia would be getting the role too easy. Nia needs to think she has competition. I can't just hand it to her on a platter. Thankfully, the other moms did convince Kendall's mom to back off and to tell Abby that she was wrong and that Nia obviously deserves this role. But Abby wasn't happy about the backtracking either, since to her, it meant that she could put another child above her own, which is apparently a huge no. Like, this situation was so crazy, guys. I can't even. Anyways, Abby's weird racist behavior didn't stop with Nia, since she continued this act even in season and eight when other black girls joined. Their moms decided that Abby's act was too much and decided to expose her racism online. Cameron's mom, Adriana, posted on Instagram and revealed how Abby would make extremely targeted comments to her when the cameras were off. Like when she said, I know you grew up in the hood with only a box of eight crayons, but I grew up in the country club with a box of 64. Don't be stupid. And guys, her mom decided to expose all of this back in 2020 when the Black Lives Matter protests were everywhere. And because Abby was one of the people to do the performative blackout square thing.
living on Instagram. It's very clear that Abby has no room to speak when it comes to the issue since she had never once apologized for any of her racist comments at the time, which is why Adriana felt that she had to speak out. She even revealed some shocking information since Abby had apparently full on admitted to her that Cameron was only on the show because she was black. She wrote, do you remember when you told me, do you want me to tell you why you are really here? You told me to look in the mirror. That's the only reason why you are here. Cam told me she heard they need a sprinkle of color. And not only is that absolutely devastating to hear for a little girl, but her mom apparently really understood the gravity of what was happening and decided they had to leave. It's perfectly understandable why she chose to pull her daughter from the show. And even if Cameron did protest at first, not fully understanding why these things were so bad, she eventually realized how serious things were when her mom started crying in front of her. Adriana ended the message with, people need to be held accountable, not just for the injustices, but also for being a closet racist. Today, I am tired of being silent because of a contract. The incredibly powerful message from her ended up being one of the reasons that the show actually got canceled, which just speaks to how messed up the whole thing was. And guys, she even inspired another mom to speak up. Another girl on the show who was also named Cameron, but with a C, went through a very similar thing. And her mom, Camille, decided that enough was enough and exposed Abby's behavior. Abby tried to spin Cameron as being the poor one and they're on scholarship. I shut that down immediately. She loves appropriating our culture and never appreciating it. She did not give black choreographers on the show acknowledgement of their work. She continuously put Cameron in afros. Everything she said was completely true and Abby has always done that kind of stuff on the show, which was again proved when Nakia Wiley, who was sometimes on the show, actually spoke up for herself. She said, my mom has been saying this for years about Abby, Kathy, and several moms, but nobody listened because she was viewed as angry and aggressive. Why do you think she was always so angry? She was called a black bitch hood rat and heard Abby and Kathy making comments about my body. Nakaya also mentioned how all of those comments were always cut from the show, but her mom's reaction to them never was, which just works to paint her mom as aggressive and angry. So this whole racism problem wasn't only happening with the cast, but was also very much present with the production. I think it's safe to say there's a reason the show didn't continue. Now, Abby did end up apologizing after Adriana spoke up about Cameron saying, I genuinely understand and deeply regret how my words have affected and hurt those around me in the past, particularly those in the black community. To Cameron, Adriana, and anyone else I've hurt, I am truly sorry. I realize that racism can come not just from hate, but also from ignorance. Abby also promised to educate herself and grow and that she wanted to show genuine change. But as it turns out, you guys, Adriana doesn't accept her apology. She claimed that Abby's apology wasn't sincere and that if she really meant it, then she would have reached out to her daughter directly, which she hadn't. She literally had to find out about Abby's apology from a friend and to her, it just didn't seem genuine. She also explained how this is so much bigger than just her and Cameron and how it's something that affects all fields of dance, which is why it is so important to her. Camille also commented on Abby's statement, even if it didn't mention anything about her and her daughter, Cameron, but she basically called Abby out for only apologizing because of the political climate at the time and because her money was now being affected. She said she's had years to apologize for the things she said said to Cameron, if she was truly repentant, then she should put her money where her mouth is, give some scholarships to underprivileged black children, stop appropriating our culture and simply learn about systemic racism and how she had benefited from it and complicit in it. So yeah, guys, because of everything that went down and all the black moms speaking up about their children's mistreatment and all the backlash Abby got from treating the girls so badly, the show did end up ending after season eight. And another show that Abby had planned with the network, Abby's Virtual Dance Off, also ended ended up getting canceled. And let's just say people fully believe she got what she deserved. She was one of the vilest women on TV. The way she treated those girls, no one would ever treat or speak to my child like that without getting punched the F out. Sorry, I don't condone violence, but she would drive you to it. Some of the girls from the show have actually spoken out a lot about what actually went down. And a lot of it is truly disturbing. Cameron with a C even made a YouTube video about it where she talked about what kind of struggle she went 
went through and it truly sounds like the whole thing was a nightmare for her. Not only did she talk about how sick her mom was of the show and how she was treated by the other moms, but she also revealed that she really felt like nobody there ever cared about any of them. She also mentioned how the show constantly made it seem like she never wanted to be there just to create drama, which according to her wasn't true at all, but because of the constant hate she got for it, it really did push her to not want to be on the show. The cast and crew have continued to say that the show was never scripted, but a lot of them, Cameron included, have revealed that the producers always set up situations to fit their narrative and made sure that things would happen, even if there wasn't a script. Which is why people pointed out that the show decided they wanted to portray Cameron and her mom a certain way, and it literally drove them to act how they wanted, which ended up being heavily criticized. The worst thing is that even if they all realized that they were being manipulated into doing things, they literally had to play into it or they wouldn't get paid. She would just sit there and not say anything so her words get, wouldn't get twisted or anything like that. And the producer straight up was like, Camille, if you don't talk, if you don't fight, you're not getting a check this week. And she was just like, this also meant that a lot of the times the moms would actually fight on purpose just to make the producers happy and not to be forced into situations that they didn't choose to be in. So the whole thing was basically arranged and Cameron and her mom were definitely big victims of it. Cameron even mentioned how Abby would talk down to her all the time and how her racist comments could be. Apparently she even went as far as commenting 